What is up everyone? We are here in Barcelona visiting Casa Patio and it's become one of my favorite buildings by the famous Catalan architect Antoni Gaudí. Like many of his other works, this house is a departure from the rigid straight lines of traditional architecture. Instead, Gaudí uses curves and natural forms to create a house that is both aesthetic and functional. So today, we'll admire Casa Baccio's naturalistic style and use a special augmented reality guide. In 1904, Gaudí worked on a renovation project with industrialist Josep Baccio. The house sits on Paso de Gracia, a famous street in Barcelona. The main floor was to serve as a private family residence while the upper floors would be rented to tenants. Both exterior and interior would be transformed by Gaudí's signature style of lighting, color, and natural morphology. The main facade is decorated with a collage of stone, glass, and ceramic work. The upper facade is covered with glass fragments called trencadis. Now notice the curious design of the balconies. Some say they were inspired by the shape of skulls, clams, and even parchment paper. On the lower facade, you can see the curving form of the rustrum. Now near the windows, you'll see columns that resemble bones joined together by plants. Now, functionality-wise, the giant windows illuminate the main rooms, while the curved frieze form a drainage system for rainwater. At the start of the tour, we're given a multimedia device. In addition to the audio narration, you can look through the screen and see computer-generated graphics overlaid on the real environment. Pan around the room, and you can see the original atmosphere. Place it in front of certain objects and reveal its inspiration from nature. The central patio is like the axis of the house. This large well provides natural illumination, heat, and air ventilation for the occupants. The design of the central patio is inspired by the ocean. The glazed ceramic tiles are colored different shades of blue in order to maintain equal illumination at different heights. Darker blues are positioned closer to the skylight, while lighter shades of blue are positioned lower where the sunlight is weaker. The main floor served as a private residence for the Baccio family. The main room is illuminated by the giant windows. Sunlight is softened by the stained glass panes at the top. These colorful whirlpool shaped discs are reminiscent of underwater life. An organically designed fireplace sits inside a mushroom-shaped hollow. In contrast to the whimsical designs of the lower floors, the attic was relatively minimal. Here you'll find building facilities such as laundry and lumber rooms. Functionality-wise, this floor serves as a thermal regulator, protecting the lower floors from the changing temperatures of the outside elements. In terms of design, white colors create a sense of cleanliness. The parabolic arches resemble the ribs of a large animal. On the terrace is a curvy roof with colorful ceramic tiles that resemble the scales of a reptile. This is considered to be an allegory of the battle between St. George and the dragon. The four-armed cross is the sword of St. George, plunged in the side of the slain dragon. Now, take a look at these colorful mushroom sculptures. Not only are they decorative, they function as chimneys connected to the kitchens and fireplaces of the apartments. Casa Baccio is a brilliant example of Gaudí's ability to integrate the natural world with a functioning living space. The colors, the materials, the shapes are all inspired by nature. Walking through Casa Baccio is like walking through a living work of art. So, Thanks for watching and I hope to see you there.